Hey baby, guess who it is this time? Yeah, 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 it's your big daddy. Just calling to check in on you, see how you are, and want you tell big daddy what you're wearing, sweetie, huh? Yeah. Mom? Wrong number. Uh, prank call, prank call. Hi, I'm Chris Sheridan, and this is driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy. You know what drives me crazy? Cartesian dualism. For 300 years, scientists have been blaming Rene Descartes for the so-called hard problem in science. That is, how can something non-physical, like mind or consciousness, interact with something physical, like the body or brain? Okay? Now, you probably know Rene Descartes from the famous axiom, cogito ergo sum, which means, I think, therefore, I exist. Alright? Now, why is it called dualism? I don't know. Usually when you think of a duel, you think of two things going against each other. When one survives, the other one doesn't. But really, duel means two things working together. So he never said that the mind and the body were separate. The only thing he did on that note was he tried to convince the Catholic Church, which he did, uh, that the body, after the human is dead, can be used for science. Whereas the matters of the spirit and the afterlife are the realm of the church and what that did is it allowed him to do autopsies uh, and to dissect cadavers and actually some advances were made in the field of anatomy and medicine because of this but that was the only split that was made and why he's taking the blame i don't know i think it's because scientists can't figure this thing out and they're really having a hard time with it and instead of calling themselves out they just put the blame on somebody else and use Rene Descartes as a scapegoat. But that doesn't make any sense either, and this is really what drives me crazy, is the fact that that's not what he said, all right? He said, cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am, all right? Are you with me here? He did not say, I think, period. And on a completely unrelated note, I am also. No, he said, I think, therefore because I think I exist, all right? That's not a split. That's kind of those two things working together, right? I think, therefore, I am. And he didn't say, well, I am, therefore, I think. So consciousness comes first, mind and consciousness is the ground of all being, and because I think, then I must exist. You know, even if I'm in a dream world, even if this world doesn't really exist, maybe I'm in the matrix, but I still think, and that means there is existence. And that's what Rene Descartes said. And it's driving me crazy the way people have taken his words, his own words, and not even listened to them, not even read them, and then used him as a scapegoat, as the blame for some scientific theory that the scientists cannot seem to wrap their head around. All right? Well, I just got one word for that. Well, actually, it's a phrase. Monte Carlo, ergo, loco. Driving me crazy. I'm Chris Sheridan, and this is driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy.